In this video, I'm going to be installing this universal relay kit that I got off of Amazon into my E30 because now that I have that spoolie thing in, I have a 255 liter per hour fuel pump in here that requires more power than the stock one. And now the fuel pump is getting all its power through this one little tiny wire that goes through the fuse box and goes through everything then to the battery. So what this relay does is it connects this fuel pump directly to the battery safely which here's the diagram right here the red wire from here goes directly to the battery and then the circuit breaker connects it to the relay so you don't want to ever connect it directly to the battery you want to have a fuse between the relay and the battery then the large yellow wire goes directly to the fuel pump so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this wire right here splice the fat yellow wire into this wire and then from here, I'm going to take the end from the chassis harness and connect it to the small yellow wire because this is where the relay will get the switched 12 volt power from. So when I turn the key on, 12 volts come through here and then that goes into the relay through the small yellow wire right here. And then that will then switch the power from the battery and allow it to go directly to the fuel pump and it won't be getting any power from here the main reason i'm doing this is because over here at the fuse box fuse 11 is a fuel pump fuse and normally in this car is a seven and a half amp fuse and you don't really want to put a bigger fuse in because it's just a band-aid and it, the wires still get really hot and it's not really good to just leave it like that this is the more official way to fix this issue but i took the relay out for the fuel pump and if you connect pin 30 and 87 which are which is this middle one right here and then the middle one on the right side i'm just going to connect them right here and this is the cheapest multimeter at, from walmart you just make sure that you move the red one to the 10 amp one and then you put this to amps so that you can read the amount of amperage so this is a 10 amp fuse stock is seven and a half amp fuse and i kept blowing the seven and a half amp fuse because as you can see when I connect it, fuel pump is taking 8.7, 8.8 amps. So 10 amp fuse does work, but it's not really the official fix. So now I'm gonna go install that relay. So first things first, this kit comes with a ground that's dumb short. Like literally, I don't know why, why they limit you to this sort of a ground. I'm gonna try and put it to this ground right here that I have and I'm gonna try and stuff the relay under this little support beam and just leave it chilling right there. So the seat will come over this, it'll be good. And if I just extend this wire right here to this ground, that'll be good. And then I can run this thick red wire through the back over here and into the battery in the trunk. So I can go under there. So now I can take this long ass thick red cable and throw it into the trunk. So now with all this wire, I can cut it to where the circuit breaker is gonna be wire in the circuit breaker and then use the rest of this wire to put it directly up to the battery so i'm thinking of mounting this circuit breaker right onto the carpet right here high up away from everything and out of the way with the two self tappers that it came with just tap those in cut the wire to this length and we'll be good So that's the battery side all connected. Circuit breaker is there, one self tapper holding it in, connected to the battery. So right now, I wanted to make sure that this fuel pump was getting 12 volts to turn on instead of a ground signal to turn on because sometimes the systems are 
different. So in this system, the ground is always grounded and it gets a 12 volt power. And I know that because when I connect the ground right here and I connect the other terminal to a constant ground at the cigarette lighter over there under my gauges, I'm getting the 12 volts over here. That's what this ground connected. So I know that that's always grounded. And then if I come over, ground this terminal right here and connect the 12 volt right here, there's no power. 12 volts. So that's how I know that the system is getting 12 volts instead of getting a ground signal. So what I have left are these two insanely long wires that I'm gonna cut most of off of. The thick wire, I'm gonna connect it directly to the fuel pump. So I'm gonna snip this green and purple wire and connect the thick wire on the left side so that the connector is there. And then the thinner wire is gonna get the other end. So I'm just gonna splice that in right there. I may have cut it a little short. I only have one try. There we go. Thick yellow into the plug thinner yellow into the chassis side. So now let's test if it works. Connected the battery back up. Now if I turn the key. Yep, I heard that relay click. Heard it click twice. The E-fan is so loud, but. Perfect. So now it connected, it should whine and it should turn on and do everything. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna go check the amperage at the relay. So again, just like before. That's amazing, it's like 0.1 amps. <laughs> that's, hey, well, that's my fix. I can hit everything with the heat gun, finish it all up. So now these are all tidied up. I can put the cover back on this, put the seat back on and you won't even notice a thing. And there we are. This one, I left it kind of loose, so these wires can still move back and forth and they're not pinching. But that's the install. If you guys enjoyed and this helped you, leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for more. And yeah, thank you for watching.